Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to practice solving a story problem. And we know that the first step in solving a story problem is to read the story. So let's get started. There were nine apples at the store. Dad bought three apples. How many apples were left? So that's our first read. I always go back and read a second time to make sure I understand what the story is asking. And I also try to visualize it as I read. So there were nine apples at the store. So I'm visualizing a store with a basket of apples. And in that basket, there are nine apples. I'm thinking red apples. Now it says that dad bought three apples. Well, when someone buys apples, they take them away with them. So this is my hint that this is a takeaway or a subtraction story. So I'll need to remember that when I show my thinking. Here, it asks how many apples were left. So I'm trying to solve for after dad buys three apples, how many are left at the store? Okay. Now I'm ready to show my thinking. And when I show my thinking, I draw a picture that I use to solve the question. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw nine apples that are at the store. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, these apples don't have to be perfect. We know it is not a drawing project. This is merely a project where I want my items to be clear enough so that I can count, count them to answer this story problem. Okay, so those are my nine apples. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine. That takes care of this part of the story problem. Now it says that dad bought three. We talked about buying means to take away from the store. So, hmm, how am I going to show that? I'm going to show that by putting an X through one, two, three, because that's how many dad took away. And now I'm ready to solve how many apples were left. Well, I'm going to solve that by counting how many apples I see here that do not have X's. And I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, so six apples were left at the store. Now, when I write my answer, it should be in a complete sentence. And I know I can look here if I'm not sure how to spell words like apples were left. The first thing I have to do is write the quantity or write the number. So my answer is going to say six apples were left. It is important to always finish with a complete thought. Now, if I wanted to make this even stronger, I think I'm going to try to write the equation that matches this story problem. So let me see. We started with nine apples at the store. So that's my first number I'm going to write, nine. And we said that dad bought is the same as dad taking things away. So I know this is a takeaway problem. So I'm going to write the symbol for takeaway, which is a minus. Now, how many were taken away? Ah, that's right here as well. Dad bought three apples. He took three apples home, or he th took three apples away. So I will write three. And now I'm going to write the equal sign. And how many were left? Well, we said there were six left. So that's the difference from how many we started with and how many were left. And now there we have it. Today, we have learned how to read carefully a story problem. We have talked about and practice showing our thinking. 
that when we do take away, we use X's. And when we answer it, we use a complete sentence. And we can look at the question if we're not sure how to spell things. And then we also talked about how to write the equation to match the story problem. I hope this helped and I hope you enjoy solving lots of story problems in the future.